I would say, first off, you're thinking for me. And, Tell me what you're thinking. Uh, that I will save. Um, I'm not going to comment on that, but I will say, you know, I had faith in the team the entire time. I went back to the locker room, watched the whole game, and, uh, you know, somebody probably thought I was crazy if they ever heard me. But, um, you know, I think the guys knew, and, and everybody knew that, even the whole stadium knew that, you know, we got to finish the game, and we got to we got to work together, and uh, unfortunately, it didn't turn out the way we wanted. And uh, now we're on to uh, Minnesota and the uh, Brown job. Is there a we frustrating are. element that, to it that you have to miss half of that one too? Half of what one? Minnesota? No, I'm not. No, I served my sentence. I'm free. You don't? Okay. The, well, I mean, we all know what that game meant to you, team captain, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Can you kind of just take us, I guess, in the locker room? Was it like, did that set in, or were you almost kind of still in the game? You know, while watching it, you know what I mean. I'm gonna say a little bit of both. Okay. But uh, you know, obviously, there's. I would rather be on the field than the locker room. But the refs made a call, and you gotta live with it. And uh, like I said, serve the sentence, and uh, now I'm free, so I get to I get to play football here uh, this coming Saturday. Did you get an explanation of the call at all? Did they, you know, through the coaches or through the Big Ten? Uh, I've heard nothing yet. Did teammates say anything to you as, as the call kind of happened before you walked off? Um, to go back and recall what an individual said is really hard. I do know as soon as I got in the locker room, Biggs was standing at the door waiting on me. And uh, oh, that's when I told him, hey, it's your turn. So uh, kind of trade, trade spots. Uh, not sure that that's the ideal situation where you want to trade spots. But um, you know, we watched the end of the second half together. And, and you can tell that you know, he was ready to go. He was ready to come out and play as well. How clear do they make what the targeting rule is to you guys? I know for a lot of us, seeing some of the plays, it's a little confusing as to what, what the rule is. Yeah, you're going to have to ask them. Did you think it was I a just, targeting call? Uh, I just know, um, you know, obviously, targeting is defined in the NCAA rule book. And um, I guess they saw something that, that made them call targeting and uh, moved me from the game. So, uh, unfortunately, didn't exactly go my way, but it is what it is. You got to move on. It's a surreal scene with you walking in and James standing there. Is it just the two of you? Or are there any, are there other staff members with you guys watching the game? Well, I think uh, Coach Parchers was pulling me off the field. Okay. I probably would make a couple laps if it wasn't for him. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you know, it was it was us three, and, and like I said, I got in there, and you know, no no words really even had to be said. You know, we looked at one another, and. Uh, and we knew that we were just changing places. Did it just make it that much longer of a bye week? That way that that kind of it was really I mean, that's long. a surreal scene. Yeah, it was extremely long. In in what in what way? I mean, it, in comparison to other you've done this before, in comparison to other yeah, years. Yeah, um, you know, I've never I played all four years here, and I've never not played in a second half, and, and that leading into the next week. It's a long time off, and then to go home and you know I watch my brother play, I watch my buddies play at Dayton. And uh, you know you're itching to get back out there. So, I'm sure you don't want to relive it, but well, watching that final play, your thoughts in the locker room? What was I walked that right out of the room. Couldn't believe it at the time. Uh, took a while to set in, uh, but it, just that whole series of events <laughs> that I saw. But you know, taking a step out of the room I was in, watching the game, and, and taking a step right to where the guys are walking in the locker room, and. Uh, it's not a feeling I ever want to relive again. You're supposed to be on that play, right? Yeah, I mean, on you, that play? I, are you uh, protector of the Blake? Or where are you? I could be. I mean, is, is that norm? Are you normally on that? On I the could be. Punt Depends. Are you on all the other punts? Are you in that spot? Well, it's, it's, it's sometimes. Also, it's not every punt. Right? I don't know. I mean, I'm in on some special teams at some times, maybe out. It's, it's hard to give you a solid answer. Okay. I'd love to give you a yes or no answer. That uh, if anybody else is from other team, they're trying to figure out personnel okay. and everything. Okay. I'll, I'll leave them to guess. Well, you know, moving forward, what do you and what do you want to do? What do your teammates want to do to turn the corner and really focus on this final five games, starting with Minnesota? Yeah, I would say win one at a time. Obviously, uh, I guess that's probably the most straightforward and black and white answer I can give you. Obviously, get the get the jug back. It's very important. Um, you know, we want it back here in Ann Arbor. And, uh, work and we're, we're going to um, go out and play for it Saturday and uh, 
at, at Minnesota. So one game at a time, um, execute one play at a time, and, and play the way we are capable of playing. Kind of a